What's up, my beautiful people? It's your girl, Ashes the Rebirth. So we are uh, going to do our Moonology Monday. We have missed a few, um, but I am back. And so I'm going to open up. I'll sit the Moonology cards here so you guys can get your energy all filled up in there. And I'm going to read something that was in a part of my research when I was looking about, you know, information about the moon and what things I'm sharing with you all. And it, the way it sounds when I'm reading it, you know, in the written form, it almost sounds like an homage to the lunar energy, to the divine feminine, to everything, you know, that we are. And so I'm going to read it as such to y'all before we get into the, the moonology breakdown. Okay. It reads... In terms of, now this is in terms of lunar energy, in terms of the moon cycle, the moon essence herself. Feminine energy at her peak. She is our cosmic lover, companion of sorts. She takes 28 days to complete her cycle. She displays her devotion to us even in daylight. She calls in the ocean's waters at will with her gravitational pull. To me, I, I know it's like researched information. You're just, you know, jotting notes down. But when you take out the it um, and the, and you really hone in on the fact that that's a divine feminine energy, adding that, that pronoun she gives definition to her feminine energy. Uh, now, mind you, this isn't man, woman. This is masculine, feminine energy we're speaking of. The lunar feminine energy is all things yes that is connected to the actual woman but in spiritual terms we're talking about feminine energy that has everything to do with the inner work the intuitive the hearing and the subtleness of spirit the tapping into the power of vulnerability it's the creativity where life is brewed and conjured you know um where medicine to heal seeps from your body when necessary, such as for baby to eat. Your body knows to do that. When to push, your body knows how to create life, even if your brain, humanity, piece of you doesn't, right? This is what we're talking about when we're talking about masculine and feminine energy, okay? Not your body parts, right? And so most times I try to make that clear when I'm saying it, but if spirit is moving it and I'm talking, you, you need to start understanding what these terms mean so it's just a conversation, you see what I'm saying? Not I'm teacher, you know, that's why I want this to become community so that we all out here with our cards together, you know, FaceTiming or whatever the thing is to do at that time. You know what I'm saying? Whatever peak social media has had, zooming it still or what have you, right? That we all got our decks and we all looking at our own read and we all just kind of, you know, philosophizing about what's going on. As we all in our divine space, so we all practicing medicine women on a regular day to day, not just a sectional type job, but my existence is all things love, all things whole, all things healed, um, knowing how to access my ancestors, my spirit team, how to access my inner me, my divine self. So let's get to it because this is more than Moonology Monday. I'm just giving what's, what's here in the space, okay? Nothing will come of this situation. This is void of course moon. Nothing will come of this situation. Now, mind you, when we pull in these moonology cards, it's not based on what the actual moon is doing in herself right now. It's I'm pulling the card and we kind of, you know, go and discuss it. So when we talk about void of course moon, um... Void of course moon. Okay, this is when the moon makes no connection to planets until it enters the next sign. It's like a simply surrender to the divine. It's a time to just be, oh my God. Okay, let me tell y'all how this hit me even in my personal time because in my personal sacred woman journal right now, this is the very thing that I just wrote about is just being. Um, I don't even know if I added it to like the blog or some other something, but it was a whole conversation I was having me and, you know, spirit just about the essence of being. So this is really good. So void, of course, this is like, you know, honing in on that rest in spirit. You know what I mean? For some people, you need to rest some situations 
um, so that you can grind harder on the situations that matter, you know. Um, some people just need to simply surrender to the divine so you can gather a plan and a course. You see what I'm saying? Um, so this is when the moon is making no connections. This is all things inside yourself and spirit. Spirit saying, yo, I need all your attention and you need all of mine. So right now, <laughs> nothing will come of the situation because we got you guarded and protected right now because I need your undivided, void of any course of direction, just Hold tight here with me for a while, spirit say, right? Moon say, that energy, that divine feminine energy say, stay for a while. Just you and I, right? You and spirit, your inner you, your greater self, the self that, that you see in your reflection and you're working your healing journey into getting into so you can fill up your, your soup for real, who you are for real, right? That's the, that's the wealth in that piece of the journey. Yes? Oh, this moonology is good, y'all. Okay, so this is when the moon makes no connection to planets until it enters the next sign. Because, of course, you know those cycles of the moon come every month, you know. And then there's also the cycles of the, of the planets out there in the universe that we know and those that we don't know, you know. Um, that, that have their cycles in and out of each other, you know, and it, it affects energy and different things. And so that's what these moonologies are about. It's it's conversation between us. So those that have more information or, you know, or you actually are an astrologer and those different things, and this is your actual avenue, comment, talk to us, share with us. If you have more questions, I might not have noticed that question. If you put it in the description box, then I can go look for it or we can look together and then come back and see what we came up with. You see what I'm saying? More than come catch a read and dip set. You feel me? Okay. All right. So are we doing another card spirit or is that it? Because that feels like really, really like uh, mellow. Really, really um, like that rest. Yeah. Like letting some things rest. A good surrender. Like I need your attention. Spirit really, really is is calling. Like I'll maneuver everything. Like, like nothing, nothing will, will come of the situation right now. Cause every, I'll put everything on pause for you right now, you know, say spirit. You, you see what I'm saying? It, clear all the stars out in the sky tonight. I just want to see you. You see what I'm saying? All right. Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. This is the second time I've seen this card today. It's It gave me like a say one, say we all type spirit. It came out earlier today. Well, anyway, that luck is on your side. That new moon in Sagittarius came out earlier today. Um, and the other card that's out here is adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. So let's talk about... Um, let's do third quarter moon first because this is... We can, you know, hit that one. But when we get over here to this new moon in Sagittarius, we got a couple things um, that we'll have to dig into. So let's see what we got. This is what? Third quarter moon. Okay, let's see. Okay. Third quarter moon is all about readjustment. Okay, okay. Y'all see this? Okay. All right. So this is, they're calling this the third quarter moon. This is all about readjustment, okay? It's all about relaxation. Hello? In ties to this void, of course, okay? Um, this is a time to kind of like, um, you know how people, when it comes down to like, um, what are they called? Um, retrograde. And everybody's like, go inside yourself. Things are going to, you know, get chaotic or you need to like, you know, these are the times to really tune in and, and you know, reflect on things. This is kind of etched in here a little bit right now. It's giving me that kind of feel. I know it says it's the third quarter moon, but that's the kind of vibe that I'm getting. It's like, um, see how your goals have all worked out for you. Modify things that may need to be modified. So unlike a retrograde where it seems like it's a lot of study, focus, inner work, um, focus in, this one is more so like taking the relaxation of the retrograde kind of energy, but also see what kind of goals and things 
have worked out and what things haven't or how things can be modified and get going on them. It's not like a complete pause in the thought of it. You can go ahead and make action, right? This new moon in Sagittarius is really going to leap us right into to the ending of that conversation of, you know, this readjustment and things happening and modifying where you don't have to stay paused like a retrograde type energy. But see this Sagittarian, this archer here, this arrow, a direct connection. This is new moon energy in Sagittarius, yo. This is this is the divine time, the divine aligning of things. This is the balanced space, masculine, feminine energy. It takes us right back to the beginning of the conversation, um, you know, and how we started. So let's dig in real quick into the new moon. Okay, so the new moon is all about reflection, of course, because it's the balance of things. It's the masculine and feminine staring in each other's eyes deeply. You see what I'm saying? I understand you. You understand me. No words spoken, right? Um, so this is no illumination, right, in, in this spot. This is when the night is the darkest. Do you see this? These are in the darkened space. The light is where light is going to be. We're like with the void, of course. Spirit is saying, just just you. I'll cancel out all the rest of the stars in the world just for this divine union and meeting with you. You see? Okay? Now, to those of you who do directly connect or want to, um, curiosity about your ancestors, okay? This is a time where, especially for the divine feminine, this is what I spoke of earlier in a reading, that divine feminine energy that we're getting when we're talking about that lunar energy with this new moon energy, because this is the time when our, when our ancestors would stay inside to self-reflect, okay? Now, when I say when I say our ancestors, I'm talking about my African ancestor, okay? Now, you pick up, you know, whatever you want, you know, on your own or, or pick that up because it still be good and true. Okay. Um, but it's a time that, that someone, people who decided that it was, you know, um, relevant so that they could actually self-reflect. That's what I'm saying with that whole retrograde type feel. It's kind of like swimming in here a bit. It's only that you have the the notion to actually get to work on the thing, you know, like pull that, you, your retrograde part of the archer is the pulling back of it, you know, where you're getting ready to see your destination or how far you get ready, throw that bam, all right? And then the, the action, the masculine energy, see all of that pullback, that's the feminine energy. The, the pullback, that's the feminine energy of the bow, the archer, right? So it's, it's, it's the intuitive time. It's the thinking things through. It's the trying to, to manage it the best way possible. When you let that thing go, when that arrow get in motion, <laughs> oh, that'd be straight masculine energy, okay? What, what we getting done here, okay? The movement, okay? Um, this is the time to create and manifest at the same damn time, okay? A lot of times and a lot of phases we feel like it's one time to clean up, one time to reap, one time to this. And that's all good because that's, you know, divine right in order. But this new moon right here, the way spirit talking right here, right now, to you who watching right here, right now, spirit is saying, honey, I do a new thing when I get ready. Why? Because God be sovereign that way. This is a time to create and manifest. This ain't no retrograde stop, figure it all out. Then when it get to moving, you can do something else. This is right now, I want you to retrograde it and do your reflection. But right here in the same space, oh, we, we got enough wisdom now where we can make these cycles quick. It ain't got to take me two weeks, three days, 59, you know, 59 years for me to figure it out now. I done grew in my wisdom. So I might have the same experience. But the reason why you don't let resentment and unforgiveness and, and you know, sorrow and guilt and, uh, you know, regrets is because you just got to let it go. Because the next time you can come out wiser now. So, so you might go in it again. Who gives a fuck? As long as you can quickly get out, right? That's what spirit is trying to say right now, right? The moon is really speaking. I'm going to need y'all to pick up what she's putting down, okay? So when we talk about new moon and Sagittarius, that's just the new moon. We ain't got in the Sagittarius. And I just want to let y'all know, <laughs> okay? I be a Sagittarius. So let me get ready to put it down for the Sagittarius. And y'all already know we the archer because you can see it right here, okay? <laughs> okay? Yes, okay? So... One, let's break down Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a mutable moon, okay? We get ready to get into that. So we got, we're calling in some more moon energy. The ruling planet is Jupiter, see? Sagittarius is all about the I discover type of expression, right? Discover, finding, you know, once you let that bow go, 
now you're in the space of having to discover because you don't know where it's going to land. You you want it to. You've aimed it to. It looked like, you know, but you're all in trust until that Bama land. You see what I'm saying? In the darkness is where you can discover because you can't see anything either. So it's your time to discover this reflection time with self before you let that bow go. All your drawback of how far you can go is all in the truth that you have within yourself with this reflection because it's all about the I discover. I discover myself and then I can discover all these other things. Um, Sagittarius's are hu uh, humorous type people, adventurous, philosophical, communicative type people. Um, you may compare them with uh, being very clever, um, very engaging, indulgent, sometimes over indulgent. I'm speaking for myself. Um, impatient because they're really like on the move on the go which yeah i believe that one um can be boastful right if there were you know a flip side to that and can be careless right i always like to give the truth i know i'm sad but like there's some other things with that whole everybody bigs up the wanderlust type things but sometimes it can you know assist in the carelessness it's a part of us kind of self-actualizing making sure we're checking ourselves as as we should Okay, so now that we've said that, a couple of things about it. Now, of course, everybody's different depending on where everything else is placed and everything. For those of you who, you know, um, would wonder or question about those type of things, okay? But we're here for the Moonology Monday, so we're going to keep going, right? That's why I said other people can comment, too, about things that they know and keep the conversation going. So when we're talking about Sagittarius, what do we say? Mutable moon. So Sagittarius is a mutable moon. So we've got to talk about that. Okay, so let me get that up here. So mutable. So this is a moving kind of thing. This isn't fixed. We know off the top, right? Um, so quick shout out to Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgos, and Pisces that are also mutable moons. So this is when the moon um, is in a mutable sign um, it tends to be a bit more flexibility, right? So you pulled back this, this bow here, you, you shot it all, you've shot, shot it off, letting it go, you know, where it may land. And now comes in this idea of why you need to be in a space of like a, a mutable moon, right? In a Sagittarian type, um, self-expression and energy because this is really on the go can handle you know changes and adventure and things which when you're shooting off like that you're gonna need some Sagittarian type energy you feel what I'm saying but the moon energy for you all right uh, because this is zodiac then you got your moon energy the moon energy is saying you know um like luck is on your side you, you've got the Sagittarian energy that's there you got the mutable moon that's there this is all about being flexible right all about trusting Okay, again, that I discover kind of essence with Sagittarius. This is the time to keep visualizing and affirming ideas as there is room to change. So it pairs, right, with the last one that we were talking about. Um, what was the, that other moon we were talking about? The third quarter moon, I think it was, um, when we were talking about modifying things. Is that what card it was? I think it was uh, what moon, uh, moon it was. So um, that's mutable moon. So... Um, flexibility and the the ability to to have that flexibility to make changes uh where and when changes you know are necessary and really quickly let me talk to you guys about um jupiter because jupiter is the ruling planet of sagittarius and it is all about expansion expansion into this newness see okay so all of these are really working together very beautifully it's like it is so smooth and this reading is like concocting its own remedy of medicine for all who will hear right like this is the essence of where you are now how will you indulge when you cut that video off when you're done seeing that beautiful read or however you feel about it or however deep you feel it is what do you do to carry the the message that is the applying of the understanding that you say you have, utilize it. If there's this grand expansion, right? It's it's enlarging everything that's attached to it. This card came out earlier today. This is all about luck. Luck is on your side, right? Jupiter is, is the planet all about luck. It magnifies things good and bad, which is why spirit needs for you to, you know, 
Have a come to Jesus moment, okay? Adjustments are required. But nothing will come of the situation. Just do the void, of course, in, in this moment, right? Or with the situation. Take what applies to your life, okay? Nobody speaks to the whole of your life. They all prophesy in pieces and parts. Unless spirits say otherwise. But it's still your job and your duty, right? To honor, you know, your space and, and, and your sacredness. So this is your inner reflection kind of time. But within that same breath and that same token, you're still being launched out because the wisdom is now greater. And so you're making the fixes or, or making the adjustments and the edits a lot quicker if they're necessary. And moving along, right? If everything is good and allowing yourself to dwell in the blissful goodness of, of all this expansion and goodness that you have now, right? All right. So, um, I don't know how y'all feel, but that reading make me feel really, really good. Um, because there's a lot of, uh, that, that's a lot of, lot of good energy there. Um, that was a lot of moon conversation there. A couple of moons came out. That's the new moon came out for us. Void, of course. Third quarter, we talked about the idea of the flexible, mutable moon. Um, uh, because the Sagittarius is so good, right? All right, so I think that's good, y'all. Um, I hope y'all enjoy these Moonology Mondays. Um, you know, I I do intuitive spirit work. So breaking down the whole idea of moon is something that I'm learning, I'm interested in, I'm engaging in because I want to honor um, the divine feminine first, um, you know, which is me, which is us. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, I just get on here to open the conversation to say this is what I know of it as it's broken down in front of me and how spirit has laid it out for me. Share what that looked like for you, what this all sounded like for you, right? So the next person can read it and take pieces of one thing they understood. Another question might answer something somebody else had, you know what I mean? That is community. That is what this is supposed to be about. That is healing, healing yourself which then heals people that are around you because then you exemplify healing in spaces where healing may never have been seen because there's so many people that are broken. Brokenness far super, far out out uh you know far supersedes whole and well people on this earth. That's just the way that it is. We are working to heal ourselves and then in turn all the spaces in which we gather or find ourselves in because then healing on a mass level is channeling into the world as opposed to all things that keep us lower, dying, you know, fighting, hating, you know, disregarding humanity. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. That was a really, that was, a, I think that was a real deep moonology Monday. That's probably because I done skipped a couple Mondays doing other stuff. So we had to come hard, come had to come hit heavy spirit said, okay, all right, well, talk your talk, divine feminine, okay, talk your talk, lunar, okay, y'all better say something to the moon tonight, okay? All right, it's been Real True Girl, Ashes the Rebirth. Y'all already know, if you want any of the products and services that I provide, they are all catering to the divine feminine, healing wounds of the heart. You are wanting some sort of spiritual uh, guidance, you know, a healing coach, there's workshops, there are long-term workshops, there are, um, you know, day-long, hour, you know, not day-long, hour-long workshops um, as well. Um, and then there's all types of remedies and uh, medicinal uh, herb uh, type tinctures and um, healing ointments and things of that nature that you can inquire about. So here's the deal. Um, instead of me chit-chatting about it, y'all can just look in the description box um, and go over to the website and look at some things. Um, chit-chat with me on, you know, social media like Facebook is what I'm typically on if you want to have like a conversation or comment here uh, for the whole community. Um, and that be that. Anything else you want to know about me, my contact information is in the description box below. Um, at least, you know, put a thumbs up. Say what's up in the comments or something like that. So, you know, everybody knows that we're here. We're here together. So y'all remember to be led and guided by all things pure, true, and love. And all things great and grand will be beckoned unto you. It's been Roach Girl Ashes the Rebirth.